right, so we have a boat traveling upstream. And I want to preface this by saying this question is a waste of time. I've done thousands of GMAT questions, and I would say this is one of my least favorites. I don't think it's a good representation of your skill level. I think it involves some luck. I think it's a waste of time on the test because even if you get lucky and do the math right from the beginning, it's going to take you a couple minutes. So I think rule of thumb here, if you start attempting this question and you're a minute and a half in and things aren't looking very good, just move on to the next question. Take a blind guess. You're, gonna, you're going to need to do that on one or two questions on the test probably. Um, I scored a 50 on my test and I took a guess on a question um, and a 50 on the quant and 780 overall. So you have to do that in certain situations. This is one of them, but let's break it down the most efficient way. So we have a distance of 90. We have two different speeds, speed one and speed two. Speed one is equal to V uh, minus three miles per hour. The distance was in miles. It's important to keep these in line. And then we have V plus three for speed two. And then we also have time. Time one is equal to x plus one half. Time two is equal to x because we know there's a half hour difference and this is in hours and this was in miles per hour. Now we know that speed equals distance over time, which means that time equals distance over speed, which means that x plus one half hours equals the distance of 90 over the speed of v minus three and x hours equals 90 over v plus three. And I know that the difference between t minus one and t two or t one minus t two is equal to one half because that's the difference in time. It's equal to one half hour, which means 90 over v minus three minus 90 over v plus three is equal to one half. And if I get a common base here by multiplying top and bottom by V plus three, and then V minus three here to get common bases of V plus three times V minus three, what I'll end up with is V plus three times 90 minus V minus three times 90 all over v squared minus nine, because this is the difference of squares formula here. And if I look at those tops, I'm gonna get 90v plus three times 90 minus 90v, which will cancel out, times, or minus negative three times 90. So I'm gonna get a positive three times 90 out of this because I have a negative negative. So what I'm gonna end up with on top is three times 90 plus three times 90 because the V's will cancel out, which is the same as six times 90. So I have six times 90 on top, I have V squared minus nine on the bottom, and I still have that this is all equal to one half. If I multiply both sides by two, I get 12 times 90 over V squared minus nine equals one. If I then reorganize, I get 12 times 90 equals V squared minus nine. Let's bring this up here. So if I then bring the nine over by adding nine to both sides, I get 12 times 90 plus nine equals V squared. And if I look at, if I look at what this is going to give me, I can pull nine out of everything and I get nine equals one, or sorry, nine times 120, because nine times 120 would give me 12 times 10 times nine, plus one, because nine times one gives me the nine, equals V squared, which means three squared times 11 squared equals V squared, which means V equals three times 11. Square root of this whole thing is the square root of each of its components which gives me 33 equals V. And if 33 equals V, and we're looking for X, and we know we have this formula, that means that X equals, because X is the number of hours it takes to travel downstream at the faster rate, uh, so it's the shorter time, X equals 90 over 33, 
which is going to be the same as 30 over uh, 11, or sorry, this is 33 plus three. So it's 90 over 36. And if we cross cancel, that becomes 10 over four, which is five over two, which is 2.5. And our answer is answer choice A. So I think it's a total waste of time. I think it's, you have to get very lucky on the math to even go that direction initially. Um, I wouldn't worry about it and I wouldn't focus any more time on evaluating this question.